we are familiar with the Clemson, Georgia recruiting battles. We've been familiar with Clemson, South Carolina recruiting battles in the past, but maybe not so much in the last seven or eight years, but that might be coming back if Shane Beamer gets his way and he seems to be doing a nice job there at South Carolina and uh, the big offensive tackle, Blake Franks out of Greenville. seems like uh, he's looking at Clemson versus South Carolina. Yeah. You know, for a long time, Franks, he, he's from right there in Greenville, right down the road from Clemson, strong Clemson lean for a long time. You know, he, I think he was absolutely actually close to committing late last year. Um, South Carolina kind of jumped in, put the full court press on, gave him reason to, you know, kind of hold off, think about things. And, and they are probably going to eventually land him, you know, depending on who you talk to, you get some conflicting stories. I think he has been conflicted about which school he wanted to go to. I think there are things he likes about both schools. I think he sees himself fitting in well at both schools. Do think, you know, I talked about that early play in time for Sammy Brown at Clips, and I think he's got a – Blake Franks has got a similar path to early play in time at South Carolina that he wouldn't have at Clemson. Clemson's offensive line room is a little bit more settled than I would say South Carolina's is. Um, Blake Franks comes to Clemson. He's probably looking at a red shirt year, probably wouldn't have to do that at South Carolina. So he, he, I think the allure playing in the SEC also is something that, you know, resonates with him. Like, you know, after after South Carolina landed Cam Pringle, looks like they're going to land Blake Franks, and there's another kid in this state, big offensive lineman, Josiah Thompson, who who has been pegged to South Carolina for a long time. He's from Dillon. He hasn't committed yet, but everyone assumes he's going to commit to South Carolina. They, Dillon's been a pipeline for South Carolina for years. Um, a lot of Clemson fans worried that South Carolina's kind of taken over the state. You know, I, I would just say this. You're not going to win every recruiting battle. Um Clemson's been pretty good about – or had a lot of success at picking the guys they want to out of the state. But, again, you're not going to win every battle. South Carolina's got some momentum after the season they had, knocking off Clemson, knocking off Tennessee, you know, playing Notre Dame down to the wire. They, they, they're, they're getting a little publicity now, and Shane Beamer's absolutely turning that into some success on the recruiting trail. You're not going to keep those guys down forever. They're going to win some battles against you. But, but at the end of the day, when it comes to recruiting, it's not about the guys you miss on. It's about the guys you, you end up getting. And, you know, we'll, we'll see who Clemson gets if, in fact, they do miss on Franks. Yeah, it's suddenly 2012 or 2013 again, where forever South Carolina was getting stomped down by Clemson. And Clemson was elite and South Carolina was flat out bad for most of that stretch and just decent for some of it. But you compare 10 and 2 versus 8 and 4 and consider South Carolina won the game on the field. And uh, it's become a little bit more interesting there in the Palmetto State. Yeah, um, there, there's no doubt. Shane Beamer's got that, you know, they're, they've got some momentum. They've got some momentum on the field, on the recruiting trail. And again, if you're a Clemson fan and you expect to win every in state battle, that's unrealistic. Um, these kids, most of them, they either grew up South Carolina fans or they grew up Clemson fans. And the ones that grew up South Carolina fans, that, that that's something that is hard to overcome in recruiting when you have that emotional tie to a school and a kid grew up envisioning and dreaming of himself playing in williams Bryce or playing in Death Valley. You know, if you are the opposing school trying to overcome that, it's next to impossible sometimes. And you always got to factor that, that thing into in-state recruiting. Talking Clemson football, we got Jason Priester on the line, as we always do. We appreciate Jason stopping by just about every week. You can catch his work at allclemsontigers.com. It's baseball season, folks, so check out Clemson's baseball uh, endeavors. And, of course, uh, spring football is coming quickly.